That is the remnants of once super typhoon Nuri, an incredibly powerful tropical system, but it's becoming extra tropical, losing those tropical characteristics. And as it interacts with the jet stream here near Alaska, you can see Alaska right here, it's gonna do something called bomb out. It drops pressure super quickly, it intensifies rapidly, and becomes just a monster in the Bering Sea. By tonight, we are looking at 100 mile an hour winds and 50 foot seas around this low pressure system. If you've ever seen the show Deadliest Catch, this is out where those commercial fishermen are fishing for crab and things of that nature. This is gonna be a 50 foot sea situation. As this continues to work a little closer to Alaska, what it's gonna do is cause a buckle in the jet stream. What does that mean? Well, for the West Coast, it's gonna mean some very warm and dry conditions, but around here, a couple days out, it's gonna mean a big trough in the jet stream. It's gonna dig in, allowing for all that nasty Arctic cold, we're not ready for it yet, air to come down here. So we are talking about some brutally cold air towards the middle of next week. In fact, I thought, let's take a peek at Wednesday. It's gonna be one of the coldest days for us. High temperature in Chicago, 34 degrees, 31 degrees Minneapolis, like 19 in Billings. We're talking about bitterly cold air. It's gonna be a good chunk of next week. And believe it or not, the Arctic air is from a once tropical system. So it's just a big reminder that the weather is all connected globally. And with that, you may wanna find your scarves, your hat, and your gloves.